How to fix errors in chat GPT. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at what are you supposed to do if chat GPT is not loading. A lot of you guys are facing this problem and I have faced it too. So uh, I will go through all the different methods that you can use to get rid of these errors and start using chat GPT to do your assignments, to do all of your day to day work and to write anything that you want. So let's get into it now. The first tip I have for you guys is to refresh. Now, refreshing is probably one of the most basic things you can do if you are having any kind of error on ChatGPT. It's probably very, very likely that if you refresh a couple of times, you reload your page, that ChatGPT will start working. Make sure to try this 10 times before you go on to the different methods that you can load ChatGPT because sometimes it, the servers are just at capacity and there is so much burden on ChatGPT it can't take new users in. But if you have reloaded quite a few times and ChatGPT is still not working for you, well then, we have our next method. That is to make sure that you log out. So you want to log out of ChatGPT and you want to log in with a new account. So you can sign up with a new account or log into your pre-existing account, but it will show you guys that, you know, log back in later. So make sure you're logged out already or just try to log in with a different account, then it might allow you to log in. So that is the second way that you can potentially fix the error that you're getting on ChatGPT. Now, what happens if you're still getting the error? You've tried reloading it, you have tried logging in with a different email address or different account, and you still can't seem to get into ChatGPT and use this amazing AI. Well, for that, you actually want to go into ChatGPT as if you're using it for the first time. Now, how can you do that? Well, to basically coerce ChatGPT into thinking that you're using it for the first time, you want to go on ahead and go into your browser on the top right. You will see these dots. Click on your settings over here. Once you go into settings, go into privacy and security. Then you have your browsing data, your cookies and other site data. You can just go on ahead and you want to remove the uh, pre-existing uh, third party cookies. So you want to click on clear cookies and site data. When you click all windows, you can choose to remove all the third party data. But a simpler way is to just go into your data and then you can remove your uh, remove the pre-existing cookies and other site data. And then that will enable you to just, uh, you know, simply have chat GPT removed and then you will be able to use it as if it was new. Uh, you can also just go on ahead and delete the cookies that you have, uh, delete the cookies that you have uh, gathered with chat GPT. You can just click on all sites over here, see all site data and permissions search for open AI and then delete all the cookies off from here and specifically just remove all data from chat GPT. This will basically make it seem to chat GPT that you are using it for the first time. And then when it's at capacity because you're a new user, you're more likely to get in. So that is another way that you can get the error removed. Now, let's say you've tried all of these methods and still it is not logging in. It's not giving you responses. Well, for that, you can switch browsers. Now, switching browsers is very easy. I'm currently using Chrome. You can open up Safari. You can open up uh, Firefox. You can open up anything and then go to open.ai. And then once you're on Safari, you can just go on ahead and use OpenAI. You can open ChatGPT from here. So you can just go on ahead and start browsing uh, on your different browser. If you are logging in with a different browser and still you are getting a error and you're still not able to use ChatGPT, what are you supposed to do then? Well, this is the last solution and I don't particularly think it's the best one, but I do think that if nothing else is working, you want to open up Google Chrome and just search for Chrome Web Store. This is basically the Google Chrome um, extension store. And once you open up this extension store, you just want to search on the top left and you just want to search for VPN. 
You can download any kind of VPN. I have Zenmate already downloaded. This is a free VPN. You can do NordVPN. That's also a great VPN to use. These are free and you don't need to use any premium VPN for this. But just turn on your VPN and then go back into ChatGPT. So just refresh ChatGPT and it will uh, reload it. Now, if it's giving you access denied still, you might have to log out before you do that and log in via a new browser or a different window. So you can just go on ahead and do that. If a VPN is not working either, now what are you supposed to do? VPNs are not working, a different browser is not working, reloading is not working. One thing I recommend is waiting for 15 minutes. Usually after 15 minutes, you're, you're going to be able to find space in ChatGPT and you will be logged in. Even after 15 minutes, you're not getting ChatGPT to open up, then there might be some error. But another great way to um, you know try ChatGPT out is use it on a different device. So try to open it on your mobile device. That is a better way to get access. Or if all else fails, you can go into a new incognito window and then open up ChatGPT from here. Then if you are still not able to do so, you can download any kind of other web extension, a VPN extension, and then try it from another VPN, another server, because certain countries are, certain countries might be at capacity, but if you log on from a different location, it might increase your chances of being able to get in ChatGPT. So these are some of the different ways that you can remove errors on ChatGPT. It definitely is one of the most annoying things while using ChatGPT that sometimes you just don't know the reason why it's not uh, letting you log on. So it's better to just wait and do these simple tips and tricks before you, uh, you know, report an error because usually there is no error. It's just at capacity. And if the error comes while you are using ChatGPT like this, so if it's generating a response for you and then it just stops generating the response further, then in that situation, you should uh, write, continue writing. And if it doesn't process your prompt, you should log out and then log back again, log in back to your account. That will help you in re-accessing ChatGPT. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with ChatGPT and fix your errors on ChatGPT. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and do check out our other videos on ChatGPT. I have quite a few videos on the different prompts that you should provide for different types of items, how you can get more sales and how you can actually elevate ChatGPT to a better level with a simple Chrome extension. So make sure to check those videos out and share this video with a friend or any of your other friends that can't seem to use ChatGPT. And I will catch you guys in the next video.